Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to talk about the global parameters in Azure Data Factory. So global parameters are constants across a data factory that uh, can be consumed by a pipeline in any expressions. So these, uh, uh, once you create a global parameter, you can use them in any pipelines and, and different expressions and different, wherever you can see the expression part of it, you can use it. So think about that uh, the global parameters are like uh, project parameters in SSIS, uh, if you know SSIS, where uh, you can have multiple things such as, uh, let's say you want to send an email to a group of people, so uh, email to, okay, so you have maybe uh, your multiple group like uh, such as uh, IT group uh, at, uh, you know, uh, whatever, uh, gmail.com or whatever, you know, you want to use it there, and uh, maybe you have uh, email from, you know, so you want to use that, uh, so maybe IT uh, at the rate of uh, uh, gmail.com whatever so later on uh, maybe you when you deploy to the prod and all that or sometime you might want to use it uh, it uh, underscore one or something uh, so you will change at uh, par uh, parameter level in the global parameter and uh, as you have used this in multiple places in different pipeline you don't have to make changes to each of the pipeline same goes for different uh, maybe you are extracting data from uh, FTP and uh, you are thinking maybe in the dev uh, you have a different FTP link uh, that you have used in multiple pipelines and uh, when you will uh, deploy to the prod you know and uh, what uh, uh, FTP or SFTP you know that uh, link uh, change so those kind of things uh, uh, you can use the global parameter so if you think uh, this uh, value can change and you are using it in multiple places uh, that's a good candidate uh, to create a global parameter so let's go ahead and take a look here uh, I have uh, my Azure Data Factory open, so let me open a new, a brand new uh, Azure Data Factory portal. Uh, so in the adf.portal, uh, sorry, adf.azure.com, so our uh, tech browser prod uh, ADF is open. Now uh, here, if you go to the manage, and that's what you are going to see, global parameters. So you click right there, and then you can go ahead and create uh, the global parameter. In my case, let's say if uh, I am interested uh, to read the data from uh, some uh, uh, web website, uh, you know, for my web activity. And I'm thinking maybe later on I change it uh, or I have to change it for uh, uh, prod or dev and all different environments. Uh, so I want to make this one as a parameter. So what I can do here in this case, I, send, I can say web URL and uh, then uh, I can provide the value. So think about that in this case, if I will take uh, this, uh, let me take this guy, okay? So if I will go ahead and uh, use it, open it right here, and uh, then show you what I have. I have this uh, different uh, web activities available. So I can click uh, right there, and uh, these uh, web uh, services will provide me some data. So let me refresh you. It's in. So this is gonna return me this entire data, right? So tomorrow, maybe I will change to another URL, and I have used in multiple pipelines. So I don't wanna make a, a change to each of the pipeline. So that's good candidate. So I'm gonna go right here, go to my data factory, and uh, here we have uh, this uh, value provided. Now, uh, we go ahead and save this, and uh, remember, see, this is called web URL, and uh, I can publish it. Once I publish it, it's gonna be available uh, everywhere in different pipelines. Uh. And same way, if uh, you have uh, some uh, parameter, you can always come here, click on edit, and uh, then uh, let's say if I want to delete this, uh, I can delete this as well okay so now also you can include the uh, global parameters in the arm template so that will help when you are deploying from the dev to the qa or to the prod uh, data factories uh, and you can change the values accordingly so you can uh, as uh, according to the different environments so you want to change the value for the global variable you can change and they will be deployed to the uh, QA and uh, UAT and the prod uh, uh, data factories now our uh, global variable is ready here and uh, now what I can do here I can go create a pipeline so I'm gonna go ahead and create a new pipeline and uh, I'm going to call this one underscore web so in this uh, I'm uh, where pipeline I'm uh, using the web activity and in the web activity I'm going to settings and here I need a URL. So in the URL you see right there I can simply add dynamic content and once I click there it, it took me to the global parameters right here in the expressions and I can click on web URL. So hit OK 
and now simply that's it uh, so now once the value is received you can write to the file or whatever you want to do that's a different case you know now we will publish this uh, and uh, we will uh, hit ok sorry here we have to select the method in this case is going to be get method so I'm going to publish this so this was one of my pipeline and maybe I created another pipeline so I'm going to make a clone and uh, I'm going to call this guy as a copy you know web copy and all that so that you have tons of uh, pipelines that has been created but in each of the pipeline if you so, go right there in the settings you see that uh, that's global parameter you have used it uh, now we can uh, hit publish for this one as well and uh, then uh, we'll go to our pipeline uh, web uh, right there so we can uh, hit debug and you will see some data coming through so this uh, web activity has been completed and if I just click on the output you can see that uh, it actually kind of uh, looks like it's failed because of uh, too many active uh, too many times I executed this one so let me redo it and uh, let me expand this one so there is an error actually for this one because uh, I've been using this uh, for multiple times and uh, they don't let you use it for multiple time it's okay I'm gonna go ahead and uh, debug one more time okay still I'm getting actually uh, some errors for this one and uh, that's fine so no big deal uh, what I can do now think about that uh, if I, I have been using this one and I have to use another URL what I can do I don't have to go inside the pipelines and make changes uh, uh, right here I can simply go to my global parameter and uh, in the global parameter I can change the value so in this case uh, if I would like to actually see right there uh, we have actually wrong URL first so that's why it was failing so let me go back and take the URL so this was the URL we were supposed to take so backslash employees so I'm gonna copy this guy and go back to my pipeline and here uh, let's see if uh, that's the same case so it failed right so we can make change so I can just simply change here so you notice that we don't have to make any changes to the pipeline anymore as our uh, URL is a global parameter and wherever it is being used in different pipelines the pipelines will automatically get the value from this guy so now if I will go back to my uh, pipeline underscore web and debug it's gonna work just fine so let's go to the output and see right there that's the data, data successful data ID 1 ID 2 names and all that so this is all information come, um, coming from there so now I think we have tested this uh, uh, pipelines and uh, now uh, we have to deploy it to the UAT or prod and all that and uh, there is a global variable uh, uh, parameter as well and we would like to change the value so in that case uh, what you are going to simply do you're going to take uh, the URL and make the change only to the your global parameter so right here now if we save this change and what will happen uh, as we have changed the value for a global parameter wherever this value has been used in the expressions or in different uh, pipeline this is gonna be uh, taken uh, the value from uh, this uh, web URL uh, that's our uh, global parameter so this is really helpful uh, in such as the cases I was telling you uh, where uh, uh, you are using these uh, uh, different such as the send email send email from uh, you are using maybe some uh, uh, other settings uh, maybe you want to run some parallel max concurrent and all those kind of things uh, and wherever you need to use it that you can uh, actually set the uh, global parameters and use at different places and just uh, change uh, according to the need so right here if you see right there these are all the uh, those uh, post you know so this time it is getting different data as we have provided a different value so you see right there so these are all different posts uh, what we have with the title this is ID one title and all that then uh, uh, second post and third post and all that okay so we have learned that let me take you another one see if uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say copy activity right so in this copy activity if uh, I go to different uh, uh, right here uh, you have source you know you create the data sets and all that so in this uh, if you are creating uh, some data sets for uh, Azure data factory no, sorry Azure data lake 2 okay so CSV file and all now you have linked server service and uh, then uh, see file path if uh, you don't want to use anything here and uh, you always point to some file you can create a global parameter and use it uh, so there are so many places uh, wherever you can write the expressions you can always uh, go ahead and uh, use it so right here if you add dynamic uh, contents uh, here you will create a uh, uh, let's say in this case uh, if I will go ahead and say uh, file folder folder path okay folder path right there 
and uh, this uh, I use uh, inside the folder path right here. This is my local data set parameter, right? So now if uh, I want to go ahead and this, um, see right there, uh, this is a copy activity, right? So uh, we go back here and in the copy activity, see this folder path comes here. Now if I click right there and uh, I can see the web URL, but uh, let's say in this case, uh, I have uh, another uh, storage path here. Let's uh, see this guy. And uh, this is my input, uh, right? So I have container and uh, this input, right? So I can save this path in some global parameter and just uh, use it whenever I need to use it. So I can simply click here and then I just uh, tech browser storage backslash my container. So I can copy that. So in this case, uh, if I wanna have global parameter for folder, I will go ahead and say folder path. Okay, so you can also do something like uh, for the logs and all that, right? So in this case, it's going to be your, uh, this guy, right? So tech browser storage, backslash input, you know, so something like that. So you will uh, save the folder path there, now publish it, and uh, once we go back here, uh, we can close right there. So then we can go to the parameters here, and uh, then you are going to go ahead to click here and uh, see now your folder path comes right there under the global parameters so you can use that so this is how you will be using uh, uh, your global parameters at different places wherever you need to do that but uh, if uh, this is being used in many places in different pipelines uh, you, and you want to change to different folder so you will be only going to the global parameters and uh, changing the value right there so you will click edit and just to change the value. So this gives us a lot of leverage and uh, make our pipelines, you know, uh, uh, very uh, kind of dynamic level, the, the same way we did in SSIS packages where we created the project level parameters and use them in different places in our SSIS packages. So same way in the data factory, you will create the global parameters and they use them in different pipelines and whenever you need to change the value for all those pipelines wherever you have used it you will come to the global parameter and then just change the value and it will be used across multiple pipelines so i hope this global parameters concept will help you to design your pipelines in a better way thank you very much for watching please go ahead and subscribe my channel and i will see you guys in the next video